All right, guys. Good morning. Good noon. Good night. Good noon. <laughs> good afternoon. Technically, it's afternoon here. I don't know why I say things. Good noon. Uh, but hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back. It's my fourth video. This time it's four, not eight. Uh, and this video is actually really, really inspiring. Um, and I'm gonna speak up loud as enough as possible um, to reach you guys, so you guys don't have to be like, "What?" Um, this video is is inspired by some of my favorite at home products, products that um, don't really cost me anything. Um, I make them. It's part of therapy for me. I love to create like little, um, just like just creating. It's just creating. I used to do a lot of creating when I had more time. Um, but you know, as you grow more mature and life starts taking you um, more probably into your career than in, in your at home life. Um, so anyway, and in the, I think in my first video, I shared with you my sugar scrub that I make at home. And I wanted to come back and retract my statement because this fl this scent I said was something else and it was actually uh, cotton fresh. And um, I don't know if I got a chance to show you guys the consistency, but um, I'm going to try to scoop some out of it. But yeah, like I told you before, it's, it's coconut oil, it's Himalayan sea salt, it's olive oil, organic fresh pressed olive oil. So that's the consistency, and then there's like, ah, is that a, an ASMR moment for you? But it's really grainy, and I told you, and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Uh, I make this. I don't even measure it. Um, I've been making it for so many years that I just know how it goes. And yeah, it's really, really, really grainy. I love it really, really rough. Um, and it's got brown sugar in it also, which attributes to the color, but mostly... It's probably 90% Himalayan sea salt, um, vegan, 100% vegan sea salt, and again, the organic olive oil. Uh, I've got some essence in there. Again, the essential oil is the cotton flavor. Uh, why do I say flavor? Cotton, fresh cotton scent. Forgive me. I, I don't want to... Um, be all over the place all the time but anyway i'm just wiping off ah oh, it smells so good i'm just wiping off the excess um little grains right down there into the trash i just took a little thing out and again i just get these these jars and i make my own stuff but today's inspiration today's inspiration is something else that i make this is coconut oil 100 percent cold pressed coconut oil and shea butter and oh yeah look at my top it's all shining but i make this also myself oh boy this is about what 30 ounces 24 ounces i really don't know i don't measure anything but it's compared to this this is the size and now i'm realizing like it is substantially bigger and the reason why i realized that um and yeah these get freshly melted if i'm gonna like present them because I don't want it to look all ugly so it's all nice this is the lemon this is the lavender lemon scent and I was like oh wait when I went back and I had to switch my labels because I had the wrong labels this one was the cotton this one was the lavender uh but yeah I just melt these down and oh my gosh I mean you're familiar with coconut oil or you're familiar with um shea butter all of that good stuff I just make this myself and let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If I only could live with two things, it would be this and water. Well, it would have to be three things because I can't live without water. You guys know that I cannot. I would never live without water. Um, but coconut oil, shea butter mix right here in my hand. If I could only live with three things, it would be this. And my sugar scrubs. My sugar scrubs for my knees, for my elbows, and for the backs of my arms, for my legs. I have dry, 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 dry skin. I know I'm 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 reminiscing right now, taking a, a, a veer off course for a second, but I have severe dry skin. Summer, fall, winter, doesn't matter. The season doesn't matter, the time of the day, all this, that, a third. But this is the only thing that saves me. I don't feel like halfway through my event or if I have my legs out or something like that and you start to see these little flakes appear 
and it is real. So, of course, as long as I'm exfoliating every single day, and I started to exfoliate, oh boy, every day, almost about a year ago, give or take. Um, I always made them, I always had them. Um, if I couldn't afford to make it, then yeah, there were some months when I would forget about it or would forget to buy something or didn't have all the money that I needed to even order some things offline and, you know, just slip through the cracks. Like, oh, you know, we can do that some other time, but staying on it 100%. I don't know if you ever get little bumps on the backs of your arms or like I don't even know if they're bumps it's just this bumpy sensation I love scrubbing that part down and you know that lasts like a lifetime the, the exfoliating feeling it's just a really really beautiful deep deep exfoliant that I use all the time it's got plenty of oils in it doesn't ever feel like it's stripping my skin only feels like my skin just gets better because I've got aging skin, I'm mature, and my skin's constantly dying and flaking up and and producing new skins and you know how those things go. Same with the hair, it's always falling out and growing back and producing more hair if you're lucky. <laughs> As you're starting to age, you're lucky if it continues to produce um, new hair, new skin follicles and what's not. But yeah, my coconut oil and shea butter mix is like, and I can't stop. I'll get ready and put some more on. Oh my God, help me. I, I, I was just like, wow. Yeah, but I make this at home. I just melt them down. I get essential oils um, from a website. They come in like two to three ounce um, bottles. And you get about four of them of your four favorite scents. And that, I feel like that'll last you six months, eight months. Um, and using it and combining it into two different kinds of um mixtures because you get about maybe like 20 drops i like a lot of scent you get 20 drops in here and then about maybe 15 to 20 drops over here and maybe even 30 drops over here it just depends because i mix to my liking what's just gotten to the potency that i like i love it um you can't really melt shea butter down too many times so one time is the only amount of time you're gonna get you want to add some new shea butter that you just freshly melted in coconut oil you can do that but um i think it starts to produce like a grainy feeling um i don't have a problem with that i've seen it happen it gets a little bit more textured looking but not textured feeling you never have like um little bumps or anything in the texture but the other update in this video and again i'm gonna keep this video super duper short guys i know i always always say that my last video was a whopping 17 minutes now i know people don't got 17 minutes to be wasting on videos i yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know what your life is like maybe you do maybe you don't but i did last night open up my first wipe my lauren napier wipe um and i liked it i liked it a lot um Again, the smell was really, really good. I'd have to open up another one because I'm sure, um, yeah, I just kept it out so that I could show you that I actually opened one up last night to um, start off my regimen. And I'm going to use this, right? I think I'm gonna use it right now on camera. Oh, I was loving this green. Uh, this green on my eyes was from Game of Thrones? Game, you know, Game of Cones. I know it's that Game of Thrones that I try not to say Game of Thrones. And I went ahead and said Game of Thrones anyway. But the Game of Cones palette by Beauty Bakery. And it's got like really cute colors in there. And I, there's a blue one that I do want to try. So um, I just get inspired to come up here and talk to you guys. I don't know why. All I do is ramble up here. I don't know if I'm giving you any information that makes any sense. I don't even know if I make any sense. But, you know, I find that... It's only four videos in, and I feel like I want to wake up, take care of what I need to take care of when a person is so I can sit down and chill and do this leisure, just video shooting and sharing products, sharing things that I love to do. And I'm just like, this is like, this is everything. It just smells so good. Like, I smell it on my body, and I keep wanting to reach for it. It's just, these are things that comfort me. Like, anything with a scent, smells, I have candles everywhere, I've got incense, anything aromatherapeutic is amazing to me anything that i can rub and soothe into my skin and spend some time just getting in there getting in all the crevices and all the cracks as i like to call them but um anything that allows me to spend some time with myself and i feel like this is a situation where i'm alone but not alone i'm sharing uh we're connecting we're talking about you know all 
natural products. We're talking about black women owned products. We're talking about skincare. We're talking about self care. We're talking about taking the time to do all of the above. Have self care, do a skincare routine, um, and a body skincare routine because a body skincare routine is just as important as a face routine. Um, you know, head to toe. I mean, I love to scrub my feet and get all in there. I mean, yeah, sure, it's great to go to the salons and all of this and the third, but sometimes you want to drop some scents in a in a tub and just really just rub yourself down. Or you, if you're in the shower, you really want to get your exfoliation on. Even if you can do it two or three times a week, it feels so good on your skin. It feels so good to take care of yourself. So again, I don't want to keep on rambling. Um, I have some brushes that I need to clean. Um, some makeup brushes I, I, just because if I use it um, done once or twice a day so I do want to get some of that done and I just squeeze a little bit of um, just some micellar oil I just squeeze that onto a rat um, onto a wank so that's what I'm gonna do today I want to clean some brushes I'm gonna see how far this goes oh and I got a package today just about 15 or 20 minutes ago so I'm gonna get into that but not in this video god no I will not waste your time any longer I'm not gonna get into all of that but I had to open up those products and see what I ordered and see what came okay maybe I've got too many scents on right now and I can't smell it but okay and this is standard size wipe I do feel like that I don't know was the other one bigger I don't know but here I go here's my first swipe and I always swipe up um, anytime you're removing makeup always swipe up uh, that's my that's me I swipe up I never drag my skin down um, never ever I never drag my skin down um, yeah I had a little bit of something on my face just for demonstration purposes and oh my gosh why am I looking super red <laughs> I'm looking super red because that's like my skin color so that's the result from one um, I think I could probably keep working. I'm not swiping down. I like to swipe up, but I do got to get in my hairline. Um, and I do want to get into showing you guys everything I do in my skincare routine. I've learned a lot. I, I thought I put a little bit on. I'm like, wow, this is a lot. I've, I thought I've learned a lot, um, for skin care. I've read a lot of things. I've heard about ingredients. And I'm gonna grab another wipe. And they don't, they don't sting or anything like that. And this is the rose one. Um, I'm just trying to get the initial reaction. Trying to feel. They feel really moist. They don't feel dried out at all. You know, I always get a bullseye on my basket down there. And it seems like, and they're really good. Um, when people are using them, I just wanted to use one right here right now. Um, just because. Yesterday I said I was going to get into it and I don't want to take a minute to get on camera and get into it. But I don't want to come here and just wipe off my makeup. I wanted to come up here and, you know, share a couple of other things with you and connect with you and say hi to you. Make sure your day is going well. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. You know, yeah, we take care of our families. We take care of work. We take care of clients. We take care of, you know, the pets. We take care of the house. We take care, you know what I'm saying? Come on now, you know what I'm saying. You know, and it's, it'd be time to sit down. And I'm an all natural girl. So I like, um, like light makeup, lightweight makeup. But it takes time to take care of ourselves. You know, everybody loves to look good and all this, that, and third. But if you can't afford to go to the nail salon or go get these laser, laser crazy, you know, expensive facials and things like that. I mean, we just have to create some things for ourselves and take care of ourselves and, and look out for ourselves. I think the wipes do a really good job. Of course, I'm going to go in with a little bit of, um, let me see, I'll go in with a little bit of my skirt for a couple of seconds just to see what's all left over and if there's a lot left over. Okay, because usually if there's a lot left over, that means that it's not really a good wipe. So this is my micellar oil again. Um, my micellar, my micellar cleanser that I'm using to see how much is left over on my skin. That's a good test to find out if the wipes are effective wipes. 
Because if a whole bunch is coming up on this little pad, then yeah, you're going to have a problem. And yeah, the micellar is just like a little cleansing. It's a cleansing water, little cleansing soap. But see, it's not super duper dirty. All right. And that's one side and this is the other side. So it's not like a whole, a whole lot. And this thing is really, really saturated. And I just got the little, the, the bubbles, the little particles. But yeah. Um, yeah, and then I didn't wipe off my, my sides too bad. But anyway, guys, that's me. This is that, and I'm going to finish taking the rest of my makeup off. That's going to be the end of this video because it is running a little bit long. And thank you guys so much. I see everybody that's viewing. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and taking out time with me. 15 minutes or less, guys. I'm going to try to keep it short. I'm going to try to keep it sweet, and I'm going to respect your time. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Yesterday, Lauren Napier, she actually commented on my last video, and she thanked me on Instagram for sharing my platform using my platform to share products and her products the way I do. So it's working. I do appreciate it. If you're just starting a YouTube journey or if you're thinking about starting a journey, look at me. I'm a mess. But just get started. Just go for it if it's what you want to do. And, you know, it is. it can be a real community. It can be really, really invigorating to come up here and just and have a good time. All right? 16 to 18, 19, 20 seconds. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Come back and see me whenever you like. Leave me a comment. Ask me some questions. Love you guys and have a great day and take care of yourself.